Well, hi there, welcome to Paint and Zoo. My name is Matt, and uh, we're joined today by Joe, who's one of our keepers here in Bugs at Home, which is our amazing display of invertebrates from around the world. So, Joe, if people come to Paint and Zoo and they're coming here, what sort of species can they see? Uh, so, immediately you'll end up seeing the Patnoda beetles. There are hundreds of them, uh, and they're a really colourful, bright species that people seem to love. Right, okay. um, we also have our red knee tarantula, she's called Jammy, and she's always out on display. Beautiful spider, really big as well. Um, and our Cassiopeia upside down jellyfish. Okay, so which... upside down jellyfish, okay. And then we've also got some uh, big stick insects. Yep. We've got leaf cutter ants, we've got um, Madeira wolf spiders, we've got giant snails, yep. millipedes. Hermit crabs, so my favourite animal in here are the vampire crabs, okay, they are just very cool, brightly coloured, they're given their name by the fact that they've got brightly coloured eyes and some of them have a purple shell which looks a bit like a purple cape and they're supposed to come out at dawn and dusk so they're a bit like vampires in their habits, they do not eat blood. And Joe, we've come to see our leaf cutter ants here, which are uh, what you said were one of the most popular exhibits here in Bugs at home, but why are they popular? Uh, I think people really like watching them uh, walk across the, the ropes, etc., with all their all the leaves. And people find it really interesting to see how far they can walk. Because um, obviously they're only tiny, but that's metres and metres of rope up there. So. Yeah, they are busy. They're always on the move. You can see them up nice and close. But Joe, you were saying about the fact that they're a little escape artists. So they want more difficult animals to care for. Yeah, they, they can be quite quite uh, crafty with their ways out um, so that we have to basically oil up all the wires um, that hold up the ropes so they can't grip onto it. Right, so if you're here at Paint and Zoo, you can come and see the leaf cutter ants in Bugs at Home and you'll see them carrying little bits of leaf along the ropes. But Joe, I, mm. I've just called them, said that's their food, mm. but that's not true, is it? No, it's not. So the leaves feed the fungus, which they look after, and then the fun when the fungus grows, they eat the fungus. Right, so the ant cuts the leaf, takes it to the fungus, feeds it to the fungus, and then yeah. they eat the fungus when it grows on the leaf. Is that right? Yeah. yeah that's that's right. Right. right, okay. So one of the things with bugs at home is biodiversity, and you hear this word a lot when we're talking about biodiversity, we're really talking about the amazing range of species that you find in the world. And you might be wondering why we carry on about biodiversity, why it matters. Well, the best analogy I've heard is the, is the story of plains and rivets. There are lots of different species in the world, just as there are lots of different rivets in a plane. And you don't know which ones are important. If you're in a plane and the rivets started popping out, if you lose one or two rivets, then the plane will probably be fine. But you don't know which of those rivets is gonna be critical to the functioning of a plane or critical to the function of an ecosystem. And if we lose species or rivets through extinction, okay, then we don't know how that's gonna affect the functioning of the natural world. Now, Joe, you were telling me just before we started filming about an interesting story of one other species in here, which is the Madeira wolf spider. Mm. Okay, so that's critically endangered, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's critically endangered. There's very few out in the wild now, and they're found in one valley on one small island off Madeira. Right, yes. okay, so Madeira, which is the island of Portugal, yeah, they're, they're on an island off that island. Yeah, sub island off that island. Yes. Right, okay, so, and in the wild, they'd be living actually mm. burrowing down into the ground. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, so they burrow down into the ground, but part of the problem is that um, it's invasive grass species. Its roots go too deep for them to burrow it, and they can't physically make burrows. So right, okay, so the habitat where they were living before has just been affected by yeah. too much grass coming in and, mm. and actually stopping burrow down. If we think of spiders, I, I know people may have seen sort of, uh, things like trapdoor spiders on TV, but the Madeira wolf spider is quite secretive, it's hiding away yes. a lot of the time. So some of the species in here can be quite challenging to see. So have you got any tips? If people are coming in here and they're trying to see the animals, I know that once you've spotted mm. one of the animals, sometimes it's easier to see the other one. So have you got any tips? Um, well, if you're looking for spiders, looking all the dark and uh, most difficult areas to see, because that's where they'll be. Um, uh, whereas if you're looking for something like a beetle, just look for glints of light and flashing colours. And yeah, the beetles are lovely and colourful. I do have to say, things like the, the fruit beetles that we've got yeah. here and the sun beetles, they've got the most stunning colours. Now, uh, Joe, uh, when we were chatting about them before, you were saying about the fact that if you pick them up, if you're cleaning them out and moving them around, they produce a foul smell, is that right? Yeah, so they basically pull on you and okay. it produces a horrible smell to warn off predators, but they also might not taste very nice. Right, okay, so like foul smelling, Bad taste. Okay, mm. so when you're looking at the beetles and they're bright coloured, this is your word of the day. It's called aposomatic coloration. Okay, that is a warning to predators, and lots of animals use it, that they are distasteful or harmful in some way. Okay, it's beautiful to us. Okay, but it's a warning sign to predators. Now, thanks a lot, Joe, for taking time out to talk to us today. I hope you come and see bugs at home here at Painting Zoo soon. Cheers. Thank you.